Hello students, welcome to our afternoon read aloud. So keeping with our theme of learning more about Native Americans and also sticking with learning more about nonfiction books, today I'm going to read for you The Powhatan, Virginia's First Residence. And on the cover, I can see some Native American people wearing some different kind of clothing, okay? Now, if you'll remember, this morning in my message, I asked what you knew about Native Americans, what you knew about Pocahontas, what you knew about the Powhatan. So you're already learning more and more facts. Here we go. The Powhatan, Virginia's first residence, okay? And that means residence. Those are people who live somewhere, right? We are residents of Arlington County. The Powhatan were the very first residents who were here before anybody else came by Daniel Eddy. Oh, and a table of contents. Let's see. In the beginning, the Powhatan, life in the woods, hunting, food, clothes, strangers arrive in 1607. Life in a new land, learning new ways, trouble between friends, the settlers act badly, a new life for Pocahontas glossary, timeline, and teacher notes. Here we go. Oh, so there's the heading. So I know that this is all going to be about in the beginning. There's a picture. Oh, I see a old, really old-fashioned looking map. Oh, and there's a caption. A caption. Put on my cap. It says, this map of Virginia was made in 1606. Let's take a close-up look at that. Okay, now let's read. In the beginning, Virginia did not look the way it does today. There were not any roads or stores. There were trees, rivers, animals, and the Powhatan, the first people of Virginia. The Powhatan. There were many bands of the Powhatan people. There were thousands of people who lived in the land now called Virginia. There was one great leader over all the bands. He was also called Powhatan. Powhatan had many children, but Pocahontas was the daughter he liked the best. She was born in 1595. This is a modern statue of Pocahontas. There's the caption, right? And we actually saw that in another book earlier today, right? Life in the Woods. The Powhatan lived in the woods close to the rivers and streams. The Powhatan were fishermen, hunters, and farmers. They lived in longhouses. Small trees were used to make longhouses. A longhouse was big, and many families could live together. Besides longhouses, the Powhatan also lived in smaller houses called wigwams, like the one shown here. I'm just going to scoot that a little bit closer. And longhouses, right? That's a compound word. It's like a big longhouse for a, a group of families to live, not just one. Hunting. The Powhatan men were hunters. They used bows and arrows to hunt deer, rabbits, foxes, turkeys, and other animals. The men used spears to catch fish. They had nets made from reeds to catch crabs. So reeds are kind of grasses that grow uh, in the water mostly, and they made nets out of those. The Powhatan men used bows and arrows to hunt animals. And again, this, this is a photograph of a modern day wigwam that has been made nowadays. These are pictures, old drawings of what some English people, I think, saw when they, how they showed Native Americans. Food, oh, there's some of that corn. Women planted gardens. The women grew beans, squash, pumpkins, and corn. Corn was very important. It was eaten at every meal. So you wonder why we started learning about corn yesterday, right? The Powhatan ate many types of corn. Clothes. The women and girls made clothes from animal skins. To make the clothes pretty, they added beads, shells, and painted shapes on them. They made jewelry from bones, shells, and beads. Moccasins were shoes made from animal skins. Animal skins were also used to cover the Powhatan Indians' longhouses and wigwams in the cold months. There's an animal skin stretched out. Strangers arrive in 1607. One spring day, three ships came with new people. 
Soon, they began to build a town called Jamestown. Jamestown became the first permanent English settlement in the New World. The people and the Powhatan were friendly to each other. Captain John Smith was one of the leaders at Jamestown. Pocahontas was 11 years old when she met Captain Smith and the new settlers. She liked the new English settlers and became friends with them. And here's the caption. Captain John Smith came from England to build Jamestown in 1607. There's a close-up. Again, from someone's imagination about what it all looked like. Life in a new land. The Powhatan and settlers started to trade with each other. The settlers gave the Indians beads, tools, and pots. In return, the Indians would give them food. In winter, life got hard for the settlers. They had little food. Settlers traded beads for food from the Powhatan. Learning new ways. In the spring, Pocahontas and the Powhatan showed the settlers what food to plant. The men showed the settlers where to hunt and catch fish. Pocahontas and the Powhatan shared food to keep the settlers from going hungry. It says, the caption says the Powhatan used canoes to catch fish in the water. So a canoe is a Native American word for a kind of boat like that. Trouble between friends. Soon trouble began between the settlers and the Indians. The Indians wanted more tools and weapons from the settlers. More settlers came to Jamestown. The settlers wanted more land. Powhatan would not give settlers any more food. There's the caption. The Powhatan made their own tools and weapons, but the settlers had stronger ones. So I gotta stop and think for a minute. At first, when they came, Pocahontas liked them and was trying to make friends and help. And they taught the settlers how to plant food because they didn't have enough food. But it sounds like there was trouble. They kept needing more food. The Indians wanted some tools and weapons. But more settlers came and the settlers wanted to take the Native American land. And so finally, Powhatan wouldn't give them more food. So there was like this back and forth with the groups each wanting something from each other, but also the settlers wanted to take the land of the Native Americans. Let's keep reading. The settlers act badly. Oh, in 1613, Captain Smith got hurt and went back to England. The new leader at Jamestown took Pocahontas away from her family. He was going to give her back if Powhatan would give the settlers more food. So it's interesting in this book, they, they write... The new leader took her away from her family. They don't use a very, very strong words there. Like they took her away, like it was on a trip or something. No, they kidnapped her. They captured her and would not let her go unless they were getting help, more help from the Native Americans. The Powhatan gathered food throughout the day, then cooked their meats and berries. So this is actually different from what's here. This is about what the settlers did. This is just helping us learn more about Powhatan food. That bowl is so neat. Look, it has fish and corn, beans, sunflower seeds, dry little mushrooms, berries, all the different kinds of things that the Powhatan would have eaten. Okay, let's get back to the, I'm afraid, the, the conflict, the fight between the groups. A new life for Pocahontas. At Jamestown, Pocahontas learned to speak English. She dressed like the English and learned how they lived. She fell in love and married John Rolfe in 1614. They had a son named Thomas. A time of peace began again. Pocahontas was the bridge between the Powhatan and the English settlers. And again, this is an imagination uh, from someone's imagination about what she might have looked like. Oh, and that's the end. Wait a minute, did that seem like the end? I guess it's the idea of that there was a time of peace again once, once Pocahontas settled in with the settlers and she learned about their culture. She learned to speak English. She learned their religion. She married one of them. That made a time of peace. But I'm wondering, that was all when she had been kidnapped. Hmm, that doesn't sound quite right to me, but I guess it was a time of peace for a while. Okay, here at the end of the book, 
glossary. There's some important words, long houses, right? Large houses for several families made from bent trees covered with bark or animal skins. Permanent, ooh, that was a word describing Jamestown. Something permanent means lasting. So the idea is that in 1607, these settlers came to Jamestown and there have been people from Europe, their descendants, people of English descent living there at Jamestown ever since. And a statue, oh, a person of a, per, a picture of a, a figure. Statue, a figure of a person or animal made of something like stone or wood. And I think that was explaining about how this was a statue. Okay. Oh, and there is a bit of a timeline here at the bottom. You know, we've learned about a timeline in the Pocahontas book this morning. The timeline was a line along the bottom of the page, right? But in this case, it's just a list of the important dates of things that happened. Anyway, well, I tell you what, what I like most about this book is how it can help us start to learn about the Powhatan. I think it's interesting to learn about what, how, what the men did, hunting and fishing, the women were gardeners. I like the idea how it starts to explain and we learn about their houses and about their food, what they did to collect food and the kind of food that they had. And then also I think what I like best of all is the cover because on the cover we see some Powhatan people of today. And that's something to keep in mind all the time when we learn about Native Americans is the Native Americans have not gone away. Native Americans are still here and with us. And some of you, some of us, may be descendant from Native Americans. Maybe some of us are great, 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 great grandparents, one or the other, or some may have been Native Americans. And Native Americans are still around here in Virginia and all over the country that is the United States today. And they were the first residents of Virginia. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed our afternoon read aloud. Don't forget to keep washing your hands, cover your coughs and sneezes, do some reading, do some writing, help your family around the house, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye!